the map is intended to show the dangers of business as usual. And the science is increasingly clear that business as usual would mean we were heading for a four degree world, a world in which temperatures rise by four degrees, probably towards the end of this century, 2100. Uh, probably also in a non-linear uh, fashion. And I want to highlight three foreign policy risks that arise from this sort of climate change. The first is that climate change is going to cause migration because it will put land underwater. And it's also important to stress that migration will not just be within nations, it will be across national boundaries. Ed was recently in Bangladesh, uh, and there are obvious dangers there. That makes climate change a foreign policy question. Secondly, climate change is going to threaten infrastructure through more extreme weather events, and that infrastructure also crosses national borders, notably in the case of energy. One just has to think about the European energy grid in that sense. Thirdly, and critically, Climate change is going to massively increase pressure on resources through drought, deforestation, and water shortage. This pressure on resources is a major potential source of conflict. Some people argue it is already the so the, uh, one of the causes of conflicts uh, happening, for example, in uh, Darfur. So foreign policy, again, is brought to the fore. But there are two other points I want to bring out from the uh, map. First is to highlight the areas of multiple stress. You may not be able to see, but at the bottom of the map, it points out that the pink shaded areas uh, that you can see on the uh, US uh, in North America, uh, on the borders with Latin America, that you can see right across um, uh, Africa uh, into the Asian subcontinent, uh, there are areas of multiple stress where you're going to see not just one of the potential consequences of climate change, but a number of them. And secondly, the, we've highlighted on the map some of the areas of recent conflict uh, with the red uh, stars. The purpose of highlighting that is to show that climate change is going to exacerbate already existing sources of tension and often a conflict. 